Hey, what's up? This is DrewDog himself, and I've decided to do a Let's Play for God knows whatever fucking reason, Clock Tower 2. And this calls for a beer. So give me just a second while you enjoy the intro. Actually, let me give you a little bit of backstory on this game. Most people that were introduced to Clock Tower were introduced to it through uh, gift giving. Let me explain what that means. For Christmas, my stepdad got the first Clock Tower for me without knowing what the fuck it was. He just looked at the cover of it and there was a guy covered in mummy wraps and had a giant pair of bloody covered scissors. And he decided to buy that for me for uh, 1997 Christmas. So all through Christmas evening, I'm completely terrified by every step of the game. Every room I go into, every trap that gets sprung, every f phone call to 911 that gets unanswered scares the living shit out of me. So Christmas, I was spent terrified, but I loved it. And so when this game came out, this game was announced in the magazines like IG, uh, EGM and GamePro and, you know, the previews. You didn't need to know what it was about. It just said Clock Tower 2, and if you like the first one, of course you're going to be interested in this one. Well, by then we had figured out that Clock Tower for Super Nintendo was the first Clock Tower, the first Fear, and Clock Tower 2 was for the PlayStation 1, the one that was Clock Tower 1 in America, and you know, it's kind of like a Final Fantasy type situation. So this one comes out, this one has absolutely nothing to do with the Scissor Man Chronicles, nothing! It's about a chick with split personalities, kind of like that, uh, that one movie with, uh, you know, the one... Oh, how could I not know this? Smoking the Bandit, Sally Field. She had multiple personalities. Except in this game, your multiple personality, your alternate personality is played by the voice of Roger L. Jackson from Scream, who also did Mojo Jojo from Powerpuff Girls. Okay, check this out. Yes, Shelly Duvall, it's perfectly fine. Children don't know anything about it. Everything will be okay. I love his blocky ass comb over. Ashley will be home soon. Don't look so worried. Wait for it. <gasps> that might be Ashley. That might be a bottle of Bombay Sapphire Gin behind your balding head. Now... Great. Now, if somebody just enters your home and you're not sure who it is, make sure you plod your ass to the front door so that they have ample time to pull a knife. I see you shiver in anticipation. Like, seriously. Ah! There's an unspecified threat at the door. For all you know, she could have been startled by a moth or had a homeless guy wave a Slim Jim in front of her. And I don't mean the tool you break into cars with, I mean the literal beef stick. Hello, hello. Uncle Philip? Aunt Catherine? It's Alyssa. Yes, that was my Facebook, and yes, that was unprofessional. I am so sorry. What was that? A rat having a piss. Okay, and here begins the aggravation with the game. Every little thing you do has to be done in order. You're not going to think that you would have to do it, but you have to check on the welfare of people's shoes. You have to check and see if the front door can even be opened, which, of course, it can't. But, you know, that's perfectly okay. I mean, you know, I'm more concerned with what my suitcase looks like. But being that I've been on... Oh, I just forgot something. I'll explain it to you in just a second. Okay, you can obviously see that there's something wrong with this bathroom. There's a steady stream of drunken dust and diamond piss leading to the lid. But my character can't see that, or can't feel it squishing under her shoes like some kind of weird fetish film. Hello? And I do have to explain that the ROM of this game has a severe glitch to where you hear random sound files when you enter a room. I will try to edit that out. I have to turn the lights on to the outside of the bathroom before I can go inside of it. And then I can judge who peed in the floor.
Okay, that was kind of creepy, simply because I don't know what that noise was, so I guess the random sound effects make everything more frightening, but uh, let's check the most obvious glaring problem here. It looks like Poison Ivy got a little bit too kinky and fell into the toilet. What is that? Hang on. Okay, I realize this girl has been in a mental hospital for the better part of her life for having the voice of Matthew Lillard and Skeet Ulrich. But... Hello? You see a leg in the toilet. You see a stream of what appears to be piss. What is your first reaction? Yeah, I guess what would be a great reaction, but you're... You're not going to just slowly plot out of the bathroom going, Huh, gee, that was weird. Oh, I hope that... Oh, I hope... Does, what, does the light switch work for both rooms? Okay, that is way creepier than the entire game. Okay. Gee, I wonder what the problem is here. see here hmm I wonder what the problem is somebody had a little bit too much mad dog and uh, had one hell of a time in the bathtub the hint is Aunt Catherine wears underwear with dick holes in them Okay, let me explain this. Alyssa's alternate personality is called Mr. Bates. <laughs> that also means masturbation. I guess Bates is a reference to the old Psycho films. But let's check on that bathtub. No, oh, wait a minute. Oh, fuck that. What is this next to the bathtub? That's odd. This wash basin is made of metal. That's the odd thing you see? A chipmunk runs down the street at you with its balls on fire... Craving your blood, and the only thing you can think of that's strange that Italian restaurant didn't have that striped banner on it beforehand. But let's check the most glaring thing here. What happened here? <laughs> Somebody took their overblood role play party a little bit too seriously, and if you got the reference to that game, God. Actually, let's check it again. Nope. What's going on here? Well, there's a leg in the toilet. There's a torso in the bathtub. There's only one explanation. The monkeys are hiding right around the corner. It's the last train to Torsoville and there's blood in the toilet. And you go, what is that? Even though you know that it's a leg. I'm so sorry. You know, I half expect Mr. Body and Tim Curry and the entire cast from Clue to sit down on this table and start eating monkey's brains any time now. I'm not going to make any Santa Claus jokes. Don't even think it. This fireplace can still be used. Is she an expert fireplace technician? Can she tell when a fireplace is not meant to have a fire in it? I've never heard anybody say that. Huh, cool. This fireplace is still active. I bet you could throw a match in there and a fire will start. <laughs> Who the hell knew? You know, in the world of strange lamps, you often have to make sure everything's okay before you stare into one. Now, this is supposed to be set in Salinas, California. I've never been to California, but I really don't imagine a lot of Japanese architecture. Unless you're a douchebag and you're an American. American douchebag with the power to steal your girlfriend and make you watch Glee. I'd be happy to tell you how he does it, but he likes to make fun of me by making me watch Evil Dead 2 and telling me how much it sucks. Okay. Hello. I, I, I fucking hate that glitch. 
Okay, I'm kind of lost. I've checked everything I know to check. I guess I gotta check the door again. Um, this is embarrassing. Okay, there's got. Okay. This game is absolutely, re absolutely, absolutely, absolutely fucking ridiculous. Yes, I've been drinking. Give me a break. All right. I have to make sure that the candlestick can still be lit. Uh, the Oni mask is apparently not important in the least. I bet I gotta check the damn shoes again. I knew there was something to do with shoes. <clears throat> Almost a fetishistic type thing. Hello. Hello? Yeah, I figured you would glitch on me, bitch. Well, because I turned the lights on in the bathroom, I can see what's on the... Oh, don't... Don't... She's all right. I must be home. I know a lot of people that just plain leave their house like they, they run like 10 miles down the road and forget where they're going without shoes, so... Macaulay Culkin has quit fucking around. If I hadn't sang the monkeys earlier, I wouldn't have cursed myself into running around in circles in a hentai game where I don't even get to see one tentacle rape. Check the leg again. Only a leg, thank God, his dick and balls aren't sitting on the edge of the toilet rim. It's only a leg and a toilet. I'm sure there's an explanation for this. There's pee everywhere and there's a leg in the toilet. I'm sure they weren't having one of their kinky Andy Warhol parties in this bathroom. Obvious joke in three, two, Hello? one. I am pretty sure that they had that leg, toilet, and piss fetish. They found each other on Craigslist. Hey, oh, oh, oh. Okay, the joys of playing PlayStation 1. I've just went into the same damn room again. There's a leg in the toilet. I can only imagine what happens when I change personalities. I, I remember what happens. Hello? It makes the game hi highly entertaining. Because the alternate personality is aware that he's stuck in a shitty video game and he's talking to dumbass characters with horrible dialogue. So picture the guy from Scream just talking about how shitty your little video game is. Oh, I did not check this. I wonder what this key goes to. Probably somebody's dick lips for all I know. Good God! Overreaction. I realize that and I do apologize. Oh. A ringy dingy. Lily Tomlin's gonna be on the other line screaming at me and calling me you fuck you. Well, there wasn't a phone out there, was there? Oh, the line's dead. <laughs> She's the most casual woman in the world. I think I'm falling in love. That doesn't look like a door that requires a key, but, you know, I'm going to quit asking. Stop. Is the game warning me to stop? Oh, well, fuck it. There's piss in the kitchen. I'm sure everything's fine. It's Ashley J. Williams' arm. What is that? You know what it is! Did you fail biology? What? It's only an arm? You seem insulted by the fact you were spooked by a dismembered arm on a dinner table covered in piss.
But when you think about it, it, there might be a little bit of fridge horror located in there because you never know the things her alternate personality has done. Like, she could have woken up next to, like, uh, one lunatic, one ice pick and gone, Oh, it's only a disembodied corpse being stabbed and raped? Oh, thank God. At least he didn't involve the cuckoo bird. Okay. Well, apparently I can't check the doors because, you know, doors are not meant to be checked. Oh, I bet now is the special moment that makes it to where I can go up the stairs. And the phone should be ringing with a jump scare. The game's tedium is ultra insane. That's why I have yet to find a Let's Play that I've watched of this that has yet to be interesting. So if there's any YouTube comments complaining about how I don't shut the fuck up or I, how I say so many things that are unfunny, it's because I want to keep talking. Because a lot of Let's Plays that I've seen of this are usually... Well, there appears to be a wooden floor right there. I wonder how much varnish it took to take care of it. Okay, I'll put... Well, here I gotta look at the I gotta look at the statue because if I don't, I get the worst ending in the game. Ooh, spooky. Actually, that's not a joke. That is. If I don't check this at the right times, spooky. then I'm in deep shit. Because you do get the worst ending of the game. If you hear a character scream in the hallway with that samurai outfit, you are in deep shit. <clears throat> Excuse me, I apologize. Let's see, we go into the bedroom, and there's... I assume there's a bedroom bed in the bedroom. I hope there's not too many people in it having fun in that bed. <laughs> oh, check this out. The game is so desperate for connections to the first clock tower as if to say you didn't make a mistake buying this I promise it's kind of sort of the same thing the poster for clock tower 2 otherwise clock tower 1 for the playstation is right here a much more frightening and interesting game I promise you that I once knew a girl that was into me and watched me play the entire game I beat the game in two hours and I missed that girl they exist out there, gentlemen. There is a geeky girl out there for you, but... Oh. What? The piano? It's making noise and the keys aren't moving. Certainly there's not a stereo located in there. I don't know why it sounded like Phalus right there, but... Betsy Wetsy is gonna kick my assy wassy. No, where are you going? I didn't do that. No, here. No, 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 you're gonna come back in here anyway. There's a head on the floor. There's a head on the floor. This character really does have anxiety problems. This room smells like Stetson. Daddy! And then they go off running. Okay. Check the obvious problem. Oh. No. oh no. Uh, they're already advertising She Hulk as if there's going to be an Avengers 2 with She Hulk in it and they're not going to pay attention to that. Blah, 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 blah. My amulet? What oh, amulet? Stop. You mean that ascot? Oh, here we go. Oh. Moon was the killer in Friday the 13th. That's wrong! Jason didn't appear until the sequel! Jason's mother was the original killer. I'm afraid that's a wrong answer. Lucky for you. Yellow blood. Who bleeds yellow blood? Um. Who bleeds yellow blood? Okay, Robin, I have the answer to this. Who bleeds yellow blood? You know what's embarrassing is I thought of a character that bled yellow blood. I know there's a character that bleeds embalming fluid. 
and something. Oh! Ah! The tall man from Phantasm. I almost lost my geek badge. Uh, awesome. So Bates is the alternate personality. Bates is the only one that can really do damage to certain characters. He can shoot a gun. Alyssa's too frightened to shoot a gun. Bates can flat out kick people in the chest and not give a shit. But the problem is Bates gives so little of a shit that certain characters just flat out kill him. For not caring. He's a little bit too much of a dick. Plus he's got this burrito stank surrounding him. So either that or he's smoking some of that really good purple purple. There we go. Check it, check it, check it, check it out! Oh, there's only a penis in here. Oh, well, sweet. But see, playing as Bates leads to a lot of bad endings in this, and there's certain things that you can't check. Because Bates is such a cynic about everything, he doesn't really give a shit about checking most things. I know what you are doing, Powerpuff Girls. I will not stand for this vigilance. No, oh, Jojo. Jo, jo. uh, seriously, same voice. Same voice. Look it up. I'm that much of a geek. I have personality and issues. What do you expect? I'm gonna know Hello. needless shit like that. I can get out the fucking door. I sound more like Christian Slater. Just like the door in Hollywood won't open up for me after Alone in the Dark. Well, that was too easy. I take it back. I hope there's not a leg in the toilet. Nothing pisses me off more than a leg. Someone's leg. Well, at least Bates is, you know, that type of response is normal. There's a leg in here. Oh, shit. I wonder if they have any Hot Pockets in the fridge. Someone's stomach, torso. What a mess! Uh, somebody poured a bunch of Melly Yellow inside of a you know split open mannequin and then had sex with it. What do you expect? It's California. Okay, I almost made a horrible. Yeah, I did make a horrible joke. My bad. There's something in here that only he can find though, because apparently Alyssa can't spot guns in the cabinet, but he can. I think there's a gun in here. Okay, never mind. This game is just... This is melatonin on a CD. This is just insta-sleep. I was a kid, I was so fascinated by this just because of the fact that I might see Scissor Man or something like that. Oh, now the phone's ringing. Oh, he can't answer it. That's fucked up! The game sets up these scares that I could get, but I can't get it because it's at random. Oh, I suppose, you know, scares are random, so what do you want? I think my ambulance in here. I don't know why it would be in the pot. Oh, I think I dropped it when I looked at the, uh... You know, it was only an arm on the table, but, you know, no big deal. Surrounded by Italian dressing and urine... Mr. Potter. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's Alyssa's amulet. It looks like a tea bag. Like a tea bag used for the wrong purpose. Look how red it is. Okay, never mind. So many Mr. Bates' Aunt Flo jokes could possibly be made, but I don't think they should be made by me. I've got more class than that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and set us up with something interesting. 
Because if I wanted to examine urine stains and disembodied body parts, I'd walk the streets of fill in the city here. Miami? Of course, of course we can't get set up for it until we turn the lights on first. I gotta see if the dishes are in good condition. Oh, shit! Okay, I forgot what the panic button was, but I think it's supposed to be square, so I'm hitting on my Xbox controller what I think is square. And the dishes didn't kill me, so I guess I'm okay. My character has not yet tried to run out the door. I know it's not that. I know exactly what triggers it. I'm just checking everything for posterity's sake. Wow, it's so full. They're here. Somebody made a sandwich and didn't eat it. The fiends. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, it's Stephanie from Small Wonder! Get the fuck out of there! Ah, shit! Oh, this is more intense than I remembered. Oh, don't stare at me like Michael Myers. You're looking at my vulva and that doesn't make me comfortable. Ah, get the fuck out! Ah, shit! They are very patient, though. Check it out. It's almost like they don't honestly think you would take that long to get to the door. Stop. Oh, god, god, god. Why would you let me click on that? What do I do? Do I just get drunk and forget about what I just saw? Oh, Punky Brewster is on a mean ass rag. Oh, look, it's only an arm. <laughs> Maybe I should check behind the bar. No, that would be pointless, because it might actually solve my problem, not being able to find who's behind the bar. <laughs> oh, how is this ever so... This, oh, she's so frightening that the doors give sway. Okay, and then my character automatically decides, you know what? Mm, fuck this. I gotta leave. There's a good possibility that I may have fucked up and already set us on the path to the bad ending, but I really don't remember. Oh, shit. Oh, everything's trying to kill me! See, the thing is, is that like... Oh, oh, no! What?! I knew you were in here! You just had to look at that artwork! <laughs> Hit me the button for absolutely no reason it does absolutely nothing and I don't know why I do it and what do I do okay hit the little bitch in the face with the frying pan it's harmless you've seen home alone it's not gonna do any damage she'll get right back up oh. <laughs> it looked like Big Show's punch on Mr. McMahon two weeks ago Okay, rule number one. Stop. Don't look at the artwork. It's like, what do I expect? She wasn't even that far out of the room before I decided to get into a fight with a uh, painting. Okay, now I can check the phone. Okay, check this out. I'm sure it'll be perfectly fine. I'm sure it's just, you know, Publishers Clearing House or... Oh, the line's dead. Uh, no, it isn't. Oh, is that supposed to be the, the twist? Ew. That was not scary. It rang, but now it's 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 dead. Dear God. Hey. Ooh, that was creepy. Okay. We're probably gonna get attacked again. I really don't remember. I'm flying into this completely blind. I haven't the last time I played this game was literally like 11 years ago. You know, maybe 12 years ago, actually, the further back I think about it. And it was so tedious, I never wanted to play through it again. Uh, okay. Oh, 
I suppose that's good. Even though my health appears to have healed for God knows what reason. I wonder whose attache case this is. Probably the people who live there, you stupid bitch. I'm oh, sorry, that was rude. Picture, don't look at the picture. Good thing I didn't look at the television. Oh, shit, this game is boring. Hello. I never said I was good at improv. Cramps? <laughs> Symbolism? Yeah. How creepy. Okay, it just worked. Oh, it, it you yeah. know. I don't appreciate that remark. I've been standing for years and everybody says that I'm majestic. You say I'm creepy? That makes me get the will to kill! It's no longer a problem. Oh shit, it is! Oh, go! Oh, Musashi from Time Killers is very angry about his spot in life. So I take it I cannot go that way, but I've already cleared the path to avoiding the worst ending, so. <clears throat> Let's make a mistake and check everything that's not necessary. I remember this. It must be broken. Fire! Oh, damn it! I heard you throwing that radio! <laughs> Don't lick the knife before you hit me. Oh, that's disgusting. Now, what do I expect? She's a little girl wielding a knife. She's not exactly going to be skilled with it, is she? Oh, shit. Uh. Oh, great. Don't get engaged in that situation. You won't even go the way I want you to if that happens. Ah! Look at the glowing red jalapeno Cheeto. Go this way. No, don't go that way. You know there's nothing in there you can use. You stupid hoe. Oh, great. Now I got that song in my head. Oh, what am I supposed to use? A footstool? I don't, uh, well, PS1, uh, is it a footstool or an Easy Bake Oven? Uh. I know what you're going to do, but I'm confident you won't do it. Ow, my face. Okay, I should save the game. I'm going to play this some other time. I don't have the patience to play such a horrible game right now. Plus, I've got to go back in there and check the statue anyway, so... Alright, this is Drew Dog. I'll holler at you next time. Gotta go ahead and save this damn thing. Don't want to play it right now. Make sure it's okay. It's all good. And uh, y'all have a good one. I'm done. Jesus Christ.